Martin's Test Shaves. With a little Scottish music in the background, if it works, probably won't. This is a test shave. This is with this rather beautiful Genko Old Dutch by the Geneva Corporation of New York. Probably a very old razor. I have restored it. I've put a new edge and the edge is the exciting bit. Hence the Scottish music. This is the Scots Jewel Grit Hoon Bonillard. Aye. And it is in fact a Tam O'Shanter in a Dalmo Blue. This one I did a little video of, but now I'm going to do the shave. That's the Dalmo Blue. As you can see, it has a blue cast to it. And there's the Tam O'Shanter, which is the finer stone, which is beautifully marked. However, Mark, Mark Adams is extraordinarily kind in letting me use this. So I'm going to start off with a very, very, very short pre-shave. I'm going to use this rather delicious. I haven't used this. This is a new dear tallow from the epic Eric of the Cajun Blade. And this one is, it's a pine flavour. It's a floret de pins. Floret de pins, which I think means flowers of the forest, which is also, by the way, a beautiful Scottish melody. So let's put a little tiny bit of this on as a pre-shave. And then we'll lather up and see what I can do with this hastily restored Genko. It's actually very good steel, I have to say. Of all the mystery steels that I've tried, and I've tried a few, um, yeah, American early razor steel is extremely good. Just get rid of some of the distractions from the background. There we go. The brush. Always a synthetic. I can't be asked breaking natural brushes in and smelling dead dog and old pig and dead horse. And... No, I mean, each of their own. I'm a steel man. So. Yeah, very aromatic. I have to say, not as sweet as the last one, which was Lavash, which was a very happy cow. <laughs> now this one is Flowers of the Forest. And it's actually quite a woody aroma, woody, piney aroma. What a clever man that can turn to rocks and honing and shaving. Anyway, I haven't got the expertise of uh, Greg and Greg's still ploughing away with a wonderful stainless steel Joan razor. 21 shaves without stropping. Now that's heroic. I don't think you could do that on many steels. I think you'd cover a very, very great bloomer if you did. Anyway, do you think that's enough chaps? I reckon that's enough. Very, very nice lather, by the way, as always with Eric's lathers. They're very um, willing. Anyway, I can hardly hear the music in the background, but I'll still bet I'll get a, uh, a notification saying uh, you haven't got permission. Here she is. This is on a Scottish edge. So let's see what happens. Wow. Oh, that's brilliant. I'm actually very surprised. The reason I'm surprised is uh, it didn't hang in hair test particularly well. Very, very good. That's an excellent edge. This is on three days of stubble with a very small 5 8 razor. 
I love, uh, I'm beginning to like five-time threads more and more. Yeah, little tip, if you use one of these little cheap um, dish cleaners, what you can do is stop trying to wash your blade in the sink, because if you make a mistake, and we all have, you bug your edge. That's a Scottish term, by the way. This is a uh, beautiful little razor, incredibly lightweight, very thin, deep hollow groin, and it's a joy. This is um, with hardly any prep. I don't have copious supplies of hot water. That's nice. Yeah, I'm going to give this a definite pass. This is a very, very good blade. And what will you do with your towers and your hall that were so fair to see? Do forgive the strange music. I have a free music app, but it's got a mind of its own. I didn't pick this. That's excellent. So, we're talking about a uh, antique who's got to be a hundred years old. Around the hundred years old, Razor. And um, obviously, a millions and millions of years old Scottish stone. I'm very pleased with this. I'm surprised. It HHT well after many, many strops. I gave it, I must have in total given it about a, a hundred laps because I wasn't happy with the, uh, the hanging hair test. And my uh, maxim is if it doesn't hang in hair test well, you shouldn't be shaving it. However, I'm obviously wrong again because it didn't hang in hair test that well. And under the microscope, it's a uh, an average edge, it's not a brilliant edge to look at, but by gum, it's given a beautiful shade. Thanks to Grain, look at that. That's lovely. Well, well, well. Right, chaps, I'm not going to stay much longer. Things to do. Um, all I would say is jigs and reels. I once swam in Loch Lomond. I kid me not, when I was a teenager, camping with me dad. We camped on the banks of Loch Lomond and I swam in Loch Lomond. It was very peaty. Wouldn't recommend it. Oh, but I was young. I'm still young. Young at heart. Very nice razor, very nice edge. I'm going to be using this again. I'm going to be using the stone again. Thank you, Mark. You're a hero. Yeah, nothing wrong with a, uh, a Scottish stone. A Tama Shanta was its final few strokes. The medium stone, the Dalmore Blue, felt quite gritty. But it worked. You can't always tell with the feedback on a stone how it's going to actually improve or annoy the edge. Look, I'm shaving with no lava. 
Just a little bit of residual smoothness from Eric's soap, which is all you really need. That's cool, man. Yep, yeah, that's done. That's it. Three days, completely wiped away on an American razor, circa probably 1920s. Not absolutely certain, I'm not an expert. The most beautiful, beautiful scales. I had to buy this, even though it cost me twice in postage and import fees what it actually cost on eBay. Because unfortunately, as we all know, the international rates are fixed. So annoying. I'm not gonna keep whacking on about it, but uh, Eric very kindly sent me three magnificent tubs quite large tubs, as you can see, heavy tubs of soap for about $17, and this cost me about $50, and it's a little tiny lightweight razor. Anyway, we all know what a rip off the world is, can't be helped. That is a beautiful restored edge. It had some severe nicks, all gone, did that on the usual 1K, as you saw if you watch me on the last videos, it's a 1K, 3K, then onto the Dalmore Blue and finally the Tamashanta. So, jigs and reels chaps, hope you enjoyed this. Do subscribe and give me a tick if you did. It's only a, a 12 minute one this time, because I've got to go. Anyway, bye for now chaps, thanks for watching, do subscribe, see you all shortly, bye.